How you doing guys? My name is Lee, this is Scott, and we also have a very special guest here today. He has made the effort to get all the way down here from his warehouse in Brizzy, grace us with his presence to um, get into some very nice products here. So we're here at M4A1 Sunshine Coast for a very special unboxing review with Ozgel. Thanks boys. Thanks. How are you from Ozgel. <laughs> Thanks for coming into our humble abode. I oh, really appreciate it. You've got a nice yeah. store here, guys. Really oh, we, like it. Really good setup. Love your ammo. Use them for a while. Um, I can't remember when I was using anything else. <laughs> so Dan will be giving me free gels after this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's always worth a try. So uh, just a disclaimer. Um, I've known Dan for about two and a bit years now. So um, done a little bit of work with him. I played with the Sloperators. I met Dan using the gels. Um, love the gels. So before I came to M4A1, um, did a fair bit of work with him as well. So I played on a team, but now I've got my own team. So at M4A1, we're lucky enough to stock Oz gels, gels, chargers, barrels, motors, um, tracer units as well. So since we're using the best ammo, we thought we'd get your mug to show the ammo and the charger. Well, I appreciate that guys, it's really kind of you and once again thanks for your hospitality That's here right. up at the sunny coast and it's really thrilling for me at Ausgel to see my gels yep. up on your walls, it's fantastic. Yeah. Um, one of the greatest things about working with M4A1 is they have stores all across two states so for me it's really thrilling to see this product and all of the Ausgel products across all those stores where people are walking in to make their purchases all the time. Okay guys, so just another thing with the Ausgel products, um, we don't only supply M4A1, so if you ever go into an M4A1 store, you can't find them there. We're also stocking multiple other big retailers in the industry, such as uh, Gel Blasters Australia, um, Tac Toys, you might find some. You'll also find some in Armoured Heaven, and uh, also Azrael Blasters, just to name a few. There's heaps across the region. So I'm gonna do the unboxing for you with the Ausgel Balance Charger. So I'll show you what's inside the box and just talk you through a little bit about how you can use it. All right, so opening the box, you're gonna find that you have the charger itself, which comes nicely wrapped. You're also gonna have a charging cable for nickel metal hydride batteries. And you'll also have English instructions. And all of these chargers come with a, an Australian 240 volt power lead. Just for today's example, I'm gonna take you through how you would actually charge a battery, um, just using a Turnigy Nanotech here. Um, these seem to be one of the most popular batteries in the gel ball world at the moment. Um, now, when you're charging LiPo batteries using, using the Ausgel charger, important point to remember is you do not need to use this cable. So this cable here, toss that to the side. Using a LiPo, all you need to use is this white plug here. Okay, so white plug, there's two ports on the front, and plug the white plug into the port that fits. That's, that's how you're connecting this thing together. Now to actually charge a battery using this, first thing you do, plug in your power connector, plug it into the power point, turn the power on. You'll have a solid light, and the next thing you need to do is select what type of battery you're gonna be charging. Now for 99% of the time, it's gonna be LiPo battery. So you select LiPo on the front here, which is the green button. Once you've got that selected, solid light, you connect the white lead to the correct connector on the front, Press the same button again, it'll start flashing and that indicates that it's charging. Once it's fully charged, the light will remain solid and that's it. And that will balance charge safely each of the cells in your battery, either two cell or three cell. All right, now guys, I'm just gonna take you through some of the do's and don'ts of using LiPo batteries. Now, when you do upgrade to a LiPo battery and you start using a balance charger, important points to remember are, Never use your battery until it's absolutely dead. If you're using your battery until your blaster starts to slow down and then stops working, this is then dead. That means you need to throw your battery out. 
Now, the other thing to remember is when you're charging your battery, never leave it unattended. Make sure that you're always around so that when your battery is fully charged, you can disconnect everything and it reduces the chance of having any kind of a house fire or an explosive incident, which uh, if you jump on YouTube, by the way, <laughs> and Google LiPo yeah, yeah, battery yeah. explosion, yeah. you're gonna see plenty of them. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure yeah. you guys have oh, seen yeah, heaps yeah. of those. Yeah. So that's the first part. Another little tip that's pretty handy for a lot of people as well, when you're looking around your house, a lot of people generally have some spare tiles lying around in one of your cupboards. Um, I highly recommend just using one of those tile plates and setting up your charger and your battery on that and also use a lipo safe bag which uh, i think these guys have one yep. here it's the best way to safely charge your battery and then of course once your battery is fully charged make sure you store it in one of these bags because um, it's going to be a lot safer for you and reduce the chance of explosion or fire well scott how about we um educate down on how we do things here at the sunny yep. coast m4 a1 with our videos so yeah so we always do the we, we have a rating system here down yep. yep. oh. so we like to yep. rate our products. Osgel products, 10 out of 10, of course. Yeah, well, we'll, yes. we'll, get, we'll get to that. <laughs> we'll get to um, that. I don't know how to run with a couple of them. Yeah, we've got four categories. We like to rate all of our products. So yep. we'll start off with uh, the first one is going to be looks. So I'm going to yeah. offer this to yourself, Scott. First up, you what are you thinking with um, the charger here? Yeah, as what well? are you thinking with the Scott? The we're talking about the charger. Oh, not, we're not judging Dan. We're not judging, well, Dan. Uh, oh, Dan. no, we're so, yeah. Um, yeah. I like that it's orange. Yep. So much stuff's already black, so fumbling around, there's a reason I wear glasses. I like that it's easy to see. So I'll give it a 10 for looks. Yep. So this may be a little bit biased, guys, but we'll give it to Dan. What are you going to rate your own? <laughs> oh, mate, I'll probably give this so, about a yeah. uh, 15 out of 10 yeah, 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 um, exactly. for looks. So, yeah. <laughs> a little bit, little bit on the biased side. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. And then for myself as well, guys, uh, compared to your older B3 very basic style chargers, this one is great. Um, very simple to use. Uh, with that nice orange little appeal to it as well. It's not your typical black. Makes it pretty. Yeah, it's nice and pretty, looks good. So I'll give it an eight out of 10. I can't fit a V2 into this one, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, um, firepower. Guys, I'll kick this one off. These chargers, if you plug them in, leave them overnight, leave them in the middle of the floor on the carpet, nice yep. shag pile with a solid lipo connected to it you may hit that fire rate of 10 so firepower for myself yeah hopefully a zero so you've heard our firepower ratings dan what do you 15 out of 10. sweet <laughs> awesome modability how many mods can we bang into this thing dan <laughs> mate um look I, while i wouldn't recommend professionally opening this thing up and playing with it um, I'm sure that you would be able to somehow squeeze a V2 into this thing yeah, yeah. and have it firing milkies in no time. Yep. You'd have a they grenade set underneath it, so when you yeah. pick it up to do it, she goes off. <laughs> that too. Yeah. That's uh, next level charge. stuff though. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we'll move on from modability as well. But a very, um, what you call it, like uh, one of substance guys, durability. Hand this one back to yourself, Dan. Long-term yep. use. I've only used this one uh, very short-term so far, so I can't um, give you a long-term overview. So, Dan, for yourself. Yeah, look, um, long-term use of this is is pretty decent. I mean, I've really put this one through its paces, mm -hmm. and uh, it does have an internal fan built in, and it's really well ventilated around the case. Yep. So you're going to find that this is going to last you a very long time. Mm -hmm. One of the things I would recommend is after you charge a battery, if it is still a bit warm. Give it a bit of time to rest and cool down and then plug your next battery in. So um, if you treat it with respect, as the boys have said, it's going to treat you with respect as well. That's right. Yeah. yeah. And for yourself, Scott, you're still short term as well? or I'm short term with most things. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's more memory wise, but yep. I do like the fan in it. So I think it'll last longer for me so yep. far. I like the fact it does have fans. Yep. Uh, it's more cooling than my computer at the moment. Mm. So. Um, for my short term that I've used it, I love it. Yep. But I'm pretty sure the way it's going, mm. it'll last a fair while. Awesome. So. Yep. Well, look, so. we really appreciate that. And look, with this particular charger, I should really just note that it's not designed to be the be all end all pro charger of chargers. Mm -hmm. This is ultimately one of the best entry level chargers you can mm -hmm. currently access on the market at the moment. Yep. So it's a really good addition when you're coming in to pick up a blaster. If you're still using one of those USB cables that come yep. with your blaster, yeah. it's a really good upgrade to go to one of these. 
So essentially, um, in the world of LiPo batteries, you want to make sure that your battery cells remain relatively equal. Mm. So in a two cell battery, you've got two cells. And what this does is this will trickle charge both of those cells in your battery and keep them relatively similar mm -hmm. until it's completely full. Yep. If you plug in a battery tester to one of these things and you're like 0.1 of a volt out, that's a bit concerning, but you get 0 0.2, 0 0.3 of a volt out on each cell, then your battery's gonna have some issues. So um, this charger will just ensure that whenever you're charging, you don't run into those sorts of problems. Yep. Treat like an investment, your batteries will last longer lifetime. Exactly. Pretty much. So first up, a big thank you to Dan, gracing us with his presence here at Appreciate the Sunny Coast. All the team at Ausgel. Yeah, so that's right. Much. Everybody behind the scenes, getting your orders out to you guys and also stocking all the other retailers as well. Still so appreciate that's that. Great. So that's yep. to the team out there watching. Yep. Yeah. To the slops. And yep. To name. So yes. <laughs> big thanks to the slops. Yeah. Slop Raiders, thank you so much guys for all of your support so far. And guys, in conclusion, like at the end of all of our videos, you can like us and find us on Facebook, Instagram, uh, YouTube, m4a1gelblaster.com. Uh, all orders over $30, free shipping. Um, make sure you hit that bell for the notifications when you're on YouTube. And um, for Dan himself, I'll hand it over to him so he can uh, Oh, geez, appreciate you guys, that, yeah. where you can find him on Guys, you can interwebs. find um, Ozgel on Facebook under facebook.com slash Ozgel. You can find us on YouTube under Ozgel. You can also find us on Instagram at Ozgel Ammo. Thanks. Awesome. Well, we like look forward all. to hearing to, yeah, from all you guys out there, from M4A1 and Ozgel. Thanks, guys. Awesome. We'll see you Cheers. guys next time.